Hello. Hello. Here we will discuss about calculation for P27 for group data. P27 means 27th percentile. So if we have a group data is given, then how to calculate P27? So first in questions we have first group data, systolic blood pressure and corresponding frequency is given. These two column is given and we are going to calculate for P27, then we have to calculate P27, cumulative frequency column. As we know, it's the easy steps for cumulative frequency column. We can calculate easily three. This is the same value, then three plus five is eight, then eight plus seven is equal to 15. 15 plus 10 is 25, 25 plus 15, 14, then 14 plus 11, 51, then 51 plus 9, 60, 60 plus 6, 66, 66 plus 2 is 68. And 68, this last value must be equal to total sum of total frequency column. Once we calculated cumulative frequency column, then we have to write the formula for P27. So this is the formula P27 equal to L plus 27 N divided by 100 minus cumulative frequency divided by F multiply by W. This is the simple steps for P27. Then for, after that, we have to find out 27 n divided by 100. So in solutions, 27 divided by 100. So n value is here 68. So we'll put here just n value and we'll calculate simply, we'll get 18.36. Now we have to go for in cumulative frequency col column and we need to find out 18.36 or just greater value. If we go through 18 cumulative frequency column, see here 15 after 15 is 25, but we have to find out 18.36. So here no 18.36, then we'll take just uh, just uh, uh, nearby uh, number, so it would be the 25. So 25 equal to or greater. So no equal value. So greater value will take, which is 25. So this is our percentile class interval. This is our percentile class interval. And then we can find out L value 120 cumulative frequency. Cumulate CF will get just preceding value of the percentile class interval in cumulative frequency, which is 2015. And F is here. 10 and W upper limit minus lower limit, which is 10. Once we'll got all the values, we'll write the formula, this formula, and then we'll put the value, all values will put here in the formula, if we see, and we'll calculate, we'll get it, and we'll find out final P27 is 123.36. So this is the basic and simple steps if we have a group data, and how to calculate the 27th percentiles for group data. Now, few more useful formula we need to understand if we have, so if we are going to P1, first percentile, we'll use this formula. We are going to calculate 20th percentile, we'll use this formula. If we are going to calculate 50th percentile, we'll use this formula. If we are going to calculate P27, 75th percentile will calculate this formula where L is the lower limit of the percentile class interval. CF is the cumulative frequency up to the percentile class. F is the frequency of percentile class. W is the width of the percentile class. So this is the basic steps for percentile calculation, 27th percentile calculation for group data if we have a group data we can follow this formula and we can calculate easily thank you